Seth with Glow Voltage here. Hope everyone is doing well. I recently got my hands on some really impressive cells and I'm about to do some testing. Figured I would make a video to share with everyone what they're capable of. Um, these are very small cells. Uh, they're 20 amp hours. They are a little bit under six inches across. They are under three and a half inches tall and about an inch wide. Uh, complete a bank. Looks something like this. And based on what I know so far, I believe that we should be able to get 215 amps sustained. Uh, I'm going to try to 235 bursting. I think we should be doing pretty well there as well. Um, I will graph out the results and we can discuss what that means. With all of that information said, let's go ahead and begin the testing, see what these cells can do. Okay, I just got the cells charged up. I'm going to take them off the charger. Um, and go ahead and begin the test. So I'm going to go ahead and start this test at about a minute and 10 seconds in. If you look right here, you'll see the timer and we're going to do this for 30 seconds initially. Starting now. Went a little bit over 30 seconds there, but held 12 volts the entire time. Uh, again, this is just a, a 4S 1P bank, so four of the cells wired up. And that was the that was the test. So I will get this graphed out and we can discuss. We're gonna try a 15 second test now that it's all charged back up and turn up the amperage a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the charger. Okay, and I'm going to start this test at seven minutes and 30 seconds on the timer. For 15 seconds, going now. I let it go a bit longer than the 15 seconds there, but right there, uh, 235 amp burst sustained over 12 volts with uh, no real issues. Uh, it looks like if we kept going there, it would eventually drop, but uh, a solid 15 second burst there. So you know what these are capable of. If you have any hard hitting base, um, it's going to be more sporadic kind of shorter bursts than that was. So uh, it does hold up well. Gonna measure the temperature of the cells now. Yeah, and it looks like they are, through most of the test, they're, they've been a little bit over 100 degrees and testing this, I hope the camera can see this, it looks like the maximum point we found on the cells was 105.1 degrees, which is pretty normal, it's not too hot at all. Um, you can also see here I have a, a temperature probe strapped to it, so at a different point in the cell, it is still under 100 degrees. Okay, I will graph this out as well, and those will come next. Okay, so here is the graph of the 215 amp pole. Um, this was a bit over 30 seconds total, and you can see towards the end, we were still over 12 volts. And then next up, we have the 235 amp pole. So this was the, the largest pull we did. And we did this for 15 seconds straight. And as you can see, we still ended up over 12 volts, even when we ended up at 236 amps of current. So these are definitely solid cells. Um, some of the best value for the money, for sure. Now, finally, we have the, what I use to reference how much can a battery support. Um, I like using Terra Amp's webpage because they list how much you can expect their amplifiers to pull um, at the very maximum. 
So I pulled up the, the 5K Terra amps, and if you look here, we have under 210 amps of consumption on music. So if you have a 5K in your car, this is perfect for you. Um, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money. You can just throw in four of these cells. And as long as you're not using like a high output alternator charging at 350 amps, you're good to go. Uh, these do have a maximum charge of 200 amps. So again, perfect for stock charging, perfect for stock voltage, and a very simple solution if you're looking for a small cost-effective DIY solution. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to check out the video and just let me know if you have any questions.